Hi, my beautiful meditators. We've been together for just over a week. How is it going? Have you noticed one of the most common things that some days are like, oh my God bless. And some meditations are like, not my thing today. Completely normal. Just like every day you wake up and you roll out of bed and it's like, yeah, it's another day. So it's like, no, same thing. The key is the meditation is just a muscle. And the more you're willing to practice and move through the days that feel a bit bumpy, the easier it gets. And you might have a principle or a practice that you opened up in the morning, and then by 10 o'clock in the morning, you've totally forgotten it. Again, completely normal. So in today's meditation, and you might get used to me, I, I'm a big sweatshirt person. I tend to wear a lot of my son's sweatshirts. This is like a Rick and Morty one. I have a lot of the hand-me-downs. You're going to get used to my like casual look. So yesterday, we worked on a lot on intuition, our clear sentients, opening up to our knowing, wise guide, all that stuff. So today we're actually going to be working on third chakra stuff. I was going to move into heart chakra, but I got the guidance to do third chakra first. So I'm not going to go into detailed description of the chakras. Most of us know them. And don't worry if you don't. You can just do a quick Google search on the chakra. For the third chakra, so it's right about here. It's your solar plexus, right? Kind of right below where your ribs kind of connect like that. The xiphoid process, that's where your solar plexus sits. Now the solar plexus is often called our empowerment center. Okay. Now for a lot of us, what we don't realize is the lower chakras are closed. It's impossible to open the heart. Okay. And one of the most common chakras I see closed is the third chakra because we're afraid to hold onto our power. Now, why is the heart chakra open to open after is because the solar plexus opens and the energy moves up to the heart. The heart is the energy that opens up to our clear sentience, our feeling. So afraid to feel that we shut it down. We have to go back to the solar plexus, our empowerment about crystals a few days ago, the crystal that goes along with solar plexus is citrine. They're yellowish crystal. Any of the yellowish kind of golden crystals, those are those are solar plexus. Do you need one? No, but they're just there. Let's work on empowerment. Go ahead and close your eyes. With your eyes closed, just deepen your slow, deep breaths in and long, slow breaths out. Inhaling and exhaling. Belly rises and belly falls. With your eyes closed, take yourself into a body scan at your own pace that we did yesterday. With the eyes closed, allowing the light to enter 300 feet above your head. Your mind is choosing the color of this light. As this light moves into your body, you soften. You relax completely and breathe. The scalp, the forehead, the chin, the cheeks, the jaw, soften you. Now moving into the neck, the shoulders, the upper chest, the heart, Softening, softening, softening. And breathe. And now move further down from the heart, your upper stomach, your mid stomach, your lower stomach, and your pelvis. The whole upper body is relaxing and softening and quieting as you breathe. And now allow the breath to move right into your hips and pelvis until you sink into the chair or your support. Let's do a scan of the upper back, the back of the head, the back of the neck, shoulder blades, the arms, the forearms, the fingertips, your mid back your lower back, and your buttocks. Relaxing, softening, relaxing as you breathe. And now from your hips, move it into your thighs, your knees and your shins. Right into your feet. 
as you breathe. Allowing the roots from the bottom of your feet to go right into the center of the earth. Allowing any fears or things you don't need to leave your body. Allowing Mother Earth to transmute it and pulling love up those roots into your feet, up your shins, your thighs, your knees, up your hips, your belly, and up into your heart. And breathe. Imagine, sense, see, or feel that solar plexus area. Again, center of the body. Often called our power center. Right where the ribs meet on the right and left side, that junction. That whole area is often called your empowerment center. Why as heck do we have humans as humans have difficulty this? Is because so many of us have given up our power. To our parents, to the government, to our school teachers, to money, somebody else's opinion, to whether or not we drive a Tesla or not. We literally have given up our power to everyone in the world, except ourselves. Everyone else's opinion is more important than ours. Without realizing it, we're judging ourselves 24-7. You are not your products. You are not your gimmicks. You are not your house. You are not even your kids. You're not even this body. You are the magic of this breath in this moment as you breathe. As the breath deepens into your body and your shoulders soften and relax, you feel your heart open even more. The back of your neck opens and you soften. Maybe your hand is still on your solar plexus. Maybe not, it doesn't really matter. And saying the statement, I am. I am love. I am power. I am spirit. I am the universe. I am part and parcel of all that is. I am. Now for the next few minutes, I am going to get quiet. The music might get a little bit louder and I want you to settle into the I am. You may inhale to the words I am. You may exhale to the next statement you add. And you can just add whatever words you want. I am love. I am incredible. I am powerful. I'm an amazing mom. I'm a loving dad. Whatever you want to add. Just staying in the essence of I am. And breathe.
slow down the breathing. Now in the next part of this meditation of I am, I'm going to encourage you to pull the essences of who you are. In a lot of ways, yes, you might be a mother or a father, but that's not who you are. In the work I teach, you are much bigger. You are the divine essence of source of spirit in a human body. With your eyes closed, imagining a flicker of flame right in the center of your body. You are this light. You are this lighthouse. You are infinite wisdom. You are infinite power. And unconditional love. So again, in this next section, as my voice again will quiet, in this next section, asking that soul part of you, I am what? I am love. I am the divine. I am source. I am unlimited. I am magic. I am what? I will come back in a few minutes, but just keep that breathing low and slow, calm and easy, deep and relaxed. Lower, deeper breaths. Now in this last part of the meditation, let's revisit our wise guide that we met yesterday. Going into that place in nature, placing yourself there with safety, releasing any fears that you don't need out of those roots that we talked about, letting them leave, Not allowing unconditional love to enter. Seeing your wise guide there, holding this deepest sense of empowerment for you. You were born of love, you live of love, and you are of love. You were born of source, you are of source, and your living is of source. And as you take these thoughts and statements in as you sit with your wise guide, you might actually start to see a pul- feel a pulsation near solar plexus. And that area that we were working on, for some people, they actually start to feel almost like a pulsation. Others of you may actually start to see the color yellow in a spinning wheel. This empowerment chakra is very powerful. And breathe. As you sit with your wise guide, your all-knowing self, you're starting to shift, alter the cells of your body, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, every part of your body is changing. And there's a deep knowing of your worth that is filtering into every cell of your body. Now the question or statement I'm getting guided to ask you is, If you truly knew that this is who you were, 
You are this empowered, beautiful, incredible, loving creature. Would anything change in your life? How would you live differently? What shifts or changes would you make? Who could you be today as you move through your day? So as you take this feeling into your body, take this deep sense of empowerment to your cells and your solar plexus, to every part of this physical part of your body, knowing of your worth, knowing of your truth, knowing that you're here on purpose. And staying here as you breathe. So I'm going to encourage you to stay longer. 10, 20, 50, 1,000 breaths. As humans, we have this empowerment. But how much we actually live this empowerment is 100% up to us. We have personal choice. And as humans, it can be the most annoying things to recognize that we have personal choice. So my question to you is how much are you willing to own that personal choice? How much am I willing to own my empowerment? And before we wrap this meditation up, I'm going to read you one of my favorite quotes by Marianne Williamson. And most of you probably know this quote, but this meditation just feels like a perfect one for it. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frighten us, frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We are born to manifest the glory of God that is within us. It is not just in some of us, it is in everyone. And as we let our light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Keep your eyes closed and your breath moving. That is a beautiful quote to move through the day with. As your solar plexus is open, your heart is opening, and you are empowered and holding the gift of God inside of you. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for joining me in this fabulous meditation, this fabulous day. Sending you lots of love. Ciao.